Hi! So for today, we're going to talk about calculating total calculating total resistance in a circuit. So as we all know, resistors can uh, be connected in either series or in parallel. And we all know that the schematic symbol of a resistor looks like this. Okay, forgive me for my drawing, it's not that really good because I'm just getting used to my pad. So this is a schematic symbol of a resistor. It can be also in this uh, orientation. So we can connect these resistors actually in what we call a series or parallel. Okay? So, for example, we have also, we have a circuit here. So that is a, let's say a 1 volt battery and we have resistors connected, two resistors connected with this 1 volt battery and let's call this R1 and R2. Now, the connection actually of these two resistors is in series. Why? Because according to the conventional current flow, okay, the current flows from positive to negative, okay? And if the current I that actually passes through this R1 and R2 is the same, then we can conclude that this R1 and R2 is connected in series. Or in other words, if we don't have what we call node, no? if they are not connected in a node, then therefore this connection is in series. Or in other words, same current flows through this R1 and R2. Okay? So, now, if we have another circuit of which we have R1 here and we have R2 here. So, we have R1 here and R2 here. Oops, we have R1 and we have a 1 volt steel supply. Okay? We can conclude, class, that this two resistors, R1 and R2, is actually connected in what we call parallel. Why? Because at this point, at, oops, I'm sorry, at this certain point, we have what we call the node. And actually, the node is a point that connects three or more circuit element okay so we have here it connects r1 r2 and this one volt supply so definitely we can say that this two resistors are actually connected in parallel so for example okay uh, we want to find the total resistance, let's say this is in series, of resistors connected in series. Simply, we shall get the sum of resistor 1, resistor 2, the sum of their what we call the resistance, and so on and so forth until we have n resistors. Okay, this shall be our formula. By the way, the unit of resistance is what we call ohm and it is actually represented as this symbol. So, ohm is represented by this symbol. Okay? So, if you wish to find the uh, total resistance connected in parallel, so we shall be using the formula 1 over R sub T is equals to 1 over R sub 1 plus 1 over R sub 2 plus 1 over N resistors. So depending on how many resistors are connected in parallel. Okay? So, but in our discussion for today, I will not be uh, 
using that kind of formula, okay, instead we'll be using a much simplified or much easier formula. But we will still arrive at the same answer. So for parallel, let me just rewrite the formula. So we can use the what we call the product of the two resistance of the resistors over their sum. Okay? So this formula product over sum is only valid if we have two resistors connected in parallel. Okay? But for a generalized formula, we shall be using instead of this, instead of this, yeah, instead of this, we shall be using this formula RT is equals to R sub 1, the resistance of resistor 1 raised to negative 1, plus R sub 2 raised to negative 1, plus if there are n resistor, R sub n raised to negative 1, and their sum is actually raised to negative 1. So this is valid whenever we have resistors uh, two or more connected in series. This is a general formula. Okay? So if we have if we wish to find the total resistance of two resistors connected in parallel, we shall be using this formula. Okay. So let's try. So for example, I have here terminals A and B of which I put my ohmmeter to measure the total resistance of this circuit. So let's say we have here a resistor, three resistors. So this is my R sub 1, this is my R sub 2, and this is my R sub 3. Okay. What is the total resistance? Okay. So let's say R sub 1 has a value of 5 ohms, R sub 2 has a value of 2 ohms, R sub 3 has a value of 3 ohms. Okay? If we wish to get the total resistance of that, since they are all connected in series, R1 is connected with series in R2, and R2 is connected in series with R3, simply we will add their, their uh, resistances which is 5 ohms plus 2 ohms plus 3 ohms and that is actually equivalent to 10 ohms pretty much easy right so this shall be our total resistance so we can simply replace this circuit by a single resistor which is actually equal to this A and B, which is actually equal to 10 ohms. Okay? So how about if we have a circuit, we wish to get the total resistance of resistors connected in parallel. Let's try. So, for example, we have here R1, we have here R sub 2, we have here R sub 3. Okay, and the values of R sub 1 is equal to the values of R sub 2 and equal to the value of R sub 3. Let's say that is equal to 6 ohms. So, what is the total resistance? Okay, well, in this case, since R1, R2, and R3 are all connected in parallel, Okay, so we shall be using our formula a while ago, what I've introduced to you, this reciprocal, okay, wherein we have R sub T, and that is equal to 6 ohm raised to negative 1, plus 6 ohms raised to negative 1, plus 6 ohms raised to negative 1, and their sum is raised to negative 1. So our total resistance is actually 
If we're going to compute it with your calculator using your calculator, we shall get what? 2 ohms. Okay? Yan. So we have our answer, 2 ohms, which is actually, uh, what do we notice here? The total resistance of resistors connected in parallel is actually less than any of these individual resistances. So in other words, uh, if we wish to decrease the total resistance of a circuit, connect the resistors in parallel. Okay? But in this case, in our series circuit a while ago in our example here, so these three resistors are connected in series. So we can say, we can observe that the total resistance is actually greater than any of the individual resistance. Greater than 5, greater than 2, greater than 3. So hence, if you want to increase the resistance of a circuit, connect the resistors in series. Okay, so let's try another formula or another example wherein we have here terminals A and B of which you know, we, we find the uh, resistors or the total resistance. So we have here R sub 1, we have here R sub 2, okay? So we have here R sub 1 and R sub 2. They are connected both in series. So if we have a value of R sub 1 that is equal to 10 ohms, R sub 2 that is equal to 2 ohms, though the total resistance, since they are connected in series, will be oops, 10 ohms plus 2 ohms, and that is equivalent to 12 ohms. Okay? So, how about if we have 2 resistors that are connected in parallel? So, we have A, B here. We have R1 and R2. Remember what I told you a while ago that in order to get the total resistance of this 2 resistors, we can simply uh, use the product over sum method. So R sub 1 plus R sub 2. Let's say that R sub 1 is equals to R sub 2 and that is, let's say, equivalent to 8 ohms. Okay? So by applying the formula, since they are connected in parallel by this node, okay? So we have here uh, 8 ohms, that is the value of R sub 1. R sub 2 is also 8 ohms divided by R sub 1 plus R sub 2 is 8 ohms plus 8 ohms. So, 8 times 8 is actually 64 right? divided by 16 and that should lead us to the answer of 4 ohms. Okay? So, we have here the, the total resistance of 4 ohms, which is again, less than the any individual resistances, 8 ohms and 8 ohms. Okay? So, I think that is our for uh, introduction of calculating the total resistance. So, how about if we have a complicated circuit that is in the combination of uh, resistors connected in parallel and in series. So, let's try to have that example. So, for example, I have here R sub 1, R sub 2, R sub 3, and R sub 4. And here's the terminal AB of which uh, we are finding the total resistance. So the key thing is you can analyze resistors two by twos, okay? Oh, and that is to say uh, by twos, okay? So let's say R1 is actually 10 ohms, R2 is 8 ohms, R3 is 6 ohms, and let's say R4 is 4 ohms. So what are we going to do since we are finding the total resistance at this terminal A and B? We shall start from the right hand most. Okay? So we are going to identify two resistors and their connections. Okay? 
So let's label the, this R3 and R4, the combination of them as R sub A. Okay? So my question is, what is the connection of R3 and R4? Since uh, they are connected in series because they are there, there are no nodes. Okay? So we can simply what add R3 plus R4. So R3 is actually 6 ohms plus 4 ohms and we have here 10 ohms so we're going to simplify our circuit it's important to redraw the circuit so we have here r sub 1 r sub 2 and we have here the combination of r3 and r4 which is r sub a this is equal to 10 ohms and here is our r1 here is our r2 so again the next step is to analyze again the circuit by two resistors so we can actually simplify these two resistors r sub a and r sub 2 and their connection since we have a node here connecting them what will we do is to conclude that the connection of r2 and r a is in parallel so let's call that the combination of this r a and r2 as r sub b okay since they are connected in parallel we can either use the product over sum or the generalized formula of what i've given you all a while ago so let's use the the one that has an inverse so 10 ohms raised to negative 1 plus r sub 2 r sub 2 is 8 ohms raised to negative 1 and they are raised to negative 1 okay so let me just get my calculator okay in order for us to compute this so 10 ohms raised to negative 1 plus 8 ohms raised to negative 1 and raised to negative 1 we got a an answer that is equivalent to let's round it off 4.44 ohms okay so let's continue so we have simplified this ra and this r2 into a single resistor which is what we call the rb so we're drawing now the circuit we have r sub 1 and we have now the combination of r2 and ra which is rb okay and that is equal to 4.44 ohms and here are our terminals a and b and we have r1 here which is equivalent to 10 ohms so since we only have two resistors we can definitely get the total resistance and the connection of r1 and rb since there are no nodes in this circuit they are connected in series so simply r1 plus rb and that is equivalent to 10 ohms plus 4.44 ohms and that is now equal to 14.44 ohms and this shall be our total resistance so i hope uh, you learned something today and thank you for listening if you find this video helpful please don't forget to click thumbs up or like and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless.